Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On and welcome to your Wednesday edition of Tottenham Transfer Talk. Who's been in the news today? Well, first up, we are battling with Crystal Palace for the Charlton Athletic Wonder Kids striker, Adam Mola Lookman. He's 18 years old. This is according to Talk Sports, so quite a reputable source. He's been prolific at youth level for Charlton and has scored three in nine in 2015 for their first team. Now this kind of makes sense to me. We're definitely looking at a striker, but we're not realistically going to be able to pay the big money for someone who's going to come straight into the first team. So we're looking down in the lower leagues, just like we were a year ago when we got that man, Deli Ali from MK Dons. This to me strikes me as a, a Paul Mitchell signing from his black book. He's looking, he's got his scouting system out of the lower leagues and he's been down to the valley and he's seen a kid who he likes the look of. So Spurs are in for him, so are Palace. But to me, if you've got a choice of going anywhere in the moment at the moment especially in London it's got to be Spurs as a young player hasn't it you'd look at Deli Alley's rise to prominence and you'd say I fancy a bit of that so in terms of likelihood of this transfer I'm gonna go for a three and a half out of five I think it could definitely happen but it's only rumors at the moment second up today Another little battle we've got on our hands, this time for the relegation fodder club Chelsea. Apparently they are also interested in Belgium's Zenit St. Petersburg player, Axel Witzel. You know him, he's a midfielder, a central midfielder, he can play defensive midfield, he's got fantastically large afro. We were in for him back in August, we didn't quite let make it happen, apparently we're trying to push this through again this January. Now this is according to the Daily Express, it seems a little bit to me like old rumours just rehashed. Of course Axel Witzel would be a good player for us, of course it would be good to have another defensive midfielder on our books, someone with a bit more experience than Eric Dyer. well frankly do I think Witzel will be better than Dyer? I'm not so sure. However, as I've always said about Witzel, he's at Zenit St. Petersburg. They are a money club. They don't need money, so it doesn't really matter what you offer. Unless that player kicks up a huge stink and tells the club that he wants to leave, I don't think it's going to happen. So for me, in terms of the possibility of this transfer, I'm going for low. Two out of five. No more. Let me know what you think in the comments section below, though. Finally today, uh, a little transfer out news. Sevilla have made their first bid in getting Fazio back from Spurs. Of course, we bought him from Seville a couple of years ago. It wasn't a couple of years ago, I think it was only a year and a half ago. He hasn't really done it at Spurs, especially in the Premier League where he's too slow. And Seville want him back to shore up their defence. Let's not forget, he did win the Europa League with them, so and he was their captain. So they do rate him there. Apparently the bid, uh, first up, is a loan move with the possibility for a permanent deal in the summer. Daniel Levy has rejected that, he wants money for him. I know that West Brom had a bid accepted for him in the, in the summer, but, but Fazio said no. So in terms of the likelihood of this transfer happening, I'd say four out of five. I think we want Fazio out the door, he probably wants to go back to Spain. And if they can come up with the numbers, either a loan fee or an actual permanent deal straight away, I think Levy will bite their hands off. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. Hi, guys. It's Barnaby for Spurred On. This is my post-match review after Spurs drew one all at Goodison Park against Everton.